The Great Wall of Investing – A Look at Long-Term Strategy Long-term thinking and investing is a lot like planting an oak tree. You won't enjoy its shade next year, or even the year after, but give it enough time, and it'll be indispensable on those hot summer days. Dollar Cost Averaging – Living here in Portland, Oregon, I see a lot of people embracing the slow food movement. They understand that good things take time. It's similar with dollar cost averaging, the practice of investing a fixed dollar amount into a specific investment regularly no matter the share price. Over time, it ensures you buy more shares when prices are low and fewer when they're high. You're playing the long game, letting the markets ebb and flow work for you. Index funds and the buy and hold approach. I can't help but think of index funds as the blue jeans of the investing world, classic, reliable, and never out of style. When you invest in an index fund, you are basically buying a broad cross section of the market and holding on to it, come rain or come shine. The crux of the buy-and-hold strategy lies in resisting the urge to sell when things look grim. It's about committing to the journey and not the occasional turbulence. Drips, dividend reinvestment plans. Dividends, the fruit that mature investments bear. Rather than cashing out when these dividends are paid, drips plow them back into buying more shares of the stock. It's a quiet miracle of compounding, really. Without lifting a finger, your investment grows as it feeds on itself. It calls for patience, sure, but it's patience that pays off. Retirement accounts, 401, Ks, and IRAs. Right, I get it. Retirement seems like a billion rainy days away, especially when you've got the Portland sun breaking through the clouds now and then. But squirreling away into tax-advantaged accounts like 401, Ks, or IRAs is the hallmark of forward-looking investing. You're not just saving. You're saving smart, making the tax system work for you, so that by the time you hit retirement, you're not scrambling for acorns. Reinvesting in education and skill building. Let's switch gears from the direct financial instruments to something a bit more personal. Learning. It's an investment with enormous long-term potential. The return is not always quantifiable on a balance sheet, but upskilling holds long-term value that can pivot careers, increase earnings, and lead to opportunities that weren't possible before. Sustainable and ethical investing. We're amidst a green revolution, where investing isn't just about the greenbacks, but also about the planet. Sustainable and ethical investing focuses on supporting companies that value the environment, social governance, and positive societal impact. Portland's a hub for this movement. Thinking about the health of our planet is as natural here as our food. It's an approach premised on the belief that what's good for the world will eventually prove good for the bottom line. All of these methods require a common ingredient, patience. It's that same patience I have while sitting in a quiet park in Portland, taking in the crisp Oregon air, and knowing that the most substantial returns, just like the best moments, come to those who wait.